What's up, Scrappy peeps? And welcome to Scrap Stash Saturday. So I'm here today using only scraps to make a 6x12 layout for my Project Life album. And I'm actually using some of these embellishments that I've made before using my diamond press machine. If you haven't seen that video, I'll pop a link for that down below. It's like a mini uh, die cutter machine and I used it to make embellishments en masse. So I make a whole heap of them at the same time. And then that saves me later on of fussing around making embellishments. It's a good tip, I think, to make some DIY embellishments prior to starting scrapbooking especially those nights you know when you have those nights when you feel like doing something creative but not dedicating yourself to an entire layout sometimes it's nice just to get a few bits of paper a few little you know wood veneers and word stickers and things and just sit on the couch and get messy with some paper and have some fun so this is my scrap box I have two places where I keep my scraps so this box is probably about eight by eight inches I think it's just a plastic uh, food container from Coles and I keep my scraps that fit in there in this one and then I have the lid of a project life plastic protector plastic page protector box and that's where I keep my 12 by 12 scraps but the problem is there I don't go to that one because it's on my shelf whereas this is right under my desk and I always reach for it so if you are going to keep your scraps, which I really think you should because you can use them for a lot of good things, um, I highly recommend putting it in a place that's at arm's reach from your desk because you'll be more likely to use it. So I decided to mat my photo on a few different papers. I'm going to start with this wordy one, which I did get, uh, where was this one from? I can't read it from here. I got it when I did a guest design spot for Click Kits a while ago. So that's a very old scrap, I think, that one. Uh, and then this is part of a cut apart from Crepe Paper. And I really wanted to use that bird. And I think it says something. Does it say something about birthdays or celebrations? It says something and I wanted to keep it on there. So I am an R about whether to put it sideways or normal ways or whatever. But in the end, I really like how it looks. So... I'm just adding some scraps. This is a page from a six by six um, crepe paper paper pad and I lost the rest of the pad or maybe I'd use the rest of the pad and this was my last page left. So I just put it in my scrap box because I thought I'd be more likely to use it there. So the thing about layering, a lot of people ask how I layer. I think I am going to do a layering class later in the year, um, but it's just all about different shapes and different sizes pretty much. And um I'll go through it a bit more when I do do my class later on in the year, but I just I just go with my intuition, what I think feels best and what I think looks more balanced. Um, but pra it's really just practice, 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 and you get better at layering. So I wanted to add that tiny little bit, but in the end, I don't think I do. This is actually some packaging from um, some embellishments from L Studio, Ellie's, LA's, L's. I'm going to call her L's because to me, she is an L. <laughs> she, that's just the way her name looks. So I'm going to go with L's. Um, and I decided to do a bit of sneaky cheating and cut that packaging in half. So it looks like it goes over to, it goes over the whole back of the thing, but it doesn't. So that's another way you can be sneaky with your scraps is that you don't have to have a big scrap to layer with. You can just have a tiny little strip and make the eye look like it's, a bigger piece when it's really not. So adding some double sided tape here to tape down my layout. This layout didn't really take long at all. It was quite an easy one and it's I really like this 6x12 format. Uh, the page protectors that I use from this are actually for from American Crafts but they're to store your thickers in. So your thickers that foam and chipboard alphabets that American Crafts sells and that's what they're actually um, marketed for but I use them for layouts because I like to have a bit of you know a bit of change up in my album so that everything's not the same I think I got I got a little bit bored last year with my project life which is why I failed I only got to May um, if that it might have actually been April but I, I feel like this year I'm really enjoying having different page protect sizes different having different inserts having think some things out of page protectors um, and I really recommend if you're in a bit of a rut, if you've lost your mojo, try some different page protectors that you haven't tried before because it does, it kind of 
makes you creative again and makes you want to challenge yourself to try new things. So I added down that little embellishment and the great thing about this layout is why it took so little time is because a lot of it was already done with the little embellishments. So yeah, that was quite handy having those ready. And I keep a little um, pot of those on my desk so that I can reach for them anytime I want. I'm actually running a bit low. I think I need to make some more DIY embellishments like this. And I use the same principle every time for these little clustery ones. But if you'd like me to film a video on when I make my next um, batch of DIY embellishments like this, let me know in the comments below. So I thought that birthday, I wasn't, I am denied for a long time because I thought it looked a bit like it was just floating nowhere. Um, but in the end, you'll have to wait and see what I do in the end, won't you? So added a few more little pits and you can see how I've got the heavier cluster, the, hev the heavier on the eye. So not weight heavy, but heavier on the eye, the more, um, the bigger, I guess you could say down in the bottom. And then I like to put a smaller cluster diagonal on the other side, just to kind of make them balanced. I added that little uh, Heidi Swap sticker up the top there, that black one and layered the birthday over the top. So that way the birthday didn't look like it was floating as much. I really like to layer my title and things on something that's already on the page because otherwise I feel like sometimes my layout looks like it's floating in space and I just picture it like a poor little astronaut that's lost its way back to the rocket ship. And I like to try and ground it so that it doesn't look like it's floating away. I added some little enamel dots and I've got a couple of packs of enamel dots that I'm leaving on my desk because I have to finish them. Is anyone like me and seems to have a million packets of enamel dots with only like a third of the packet used? Oh, it's driving me crazy. So I've decided to every, you know, every so I'm going to have four on my desk constantly at all times that I reach for first. And if what I want isn't in those, then I go to my stash because I'm just getting too many packets and they're not getting used up. The other day, I the other day, I got a bit of an accent there. The other day, I actually finished a roll of washi tape and it was the best feeling in the world. I saw someone on my Facebook group, Scrapaholics Anonymous, had posted a photo of, um, it said something like, um, dear ladies, this is what a finished roll, an actual finished roll of washi tape looks like in case you hadn't seen it before. And that made me laugh so hard because it's true. We don't, we seem to get these supplies and only get, um, you know, a halfway through them or a third of the way through them. And then they just sit there, just hanging out, just collecting dust. And so I think it's important to, I like, what, the thing, what I like about Scrap Stash Saturday is that I only use things that have already started to be used or try to anyway. Um, and they're things that I keep on my desk so that they're in, within easy arms reach. Adding some honey shine and a few bits here, a few bits there. Trying to cover up my face so I don't end up with a gold birthday pimple on my face. Because even though gold's lovely, I don't want it on my eyeballs. And of course, more enamel dots, why not? And when I do enamel dots, I like to combine different sizes and different colors. So I'm done. Oh, what did I tap there? I'm finished. So a bit of a close up. You can see that none of this looks like their little scraps, their little, um, you know, bits that should have belonged in the bin, but a lot of them should have, but I kept them because I'm a paper hoarder. So thanks for watching guys. And please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And also if you like Scrap Stash Saturday, let me know um, if you are liking this series. It's only a new series that I've been doing lately, but for the Inkajoo Marathon, but if you'd like it to continue throughout the year, every Saturday, let me know a layout or a project life layout too from my stash. So thanks for watching and give it a little thumbs up if you liked it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.